Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for September 2021. I hope that everybody's doing well. I am going to take just a second here to remind you very gently that this is a general reading. It is not a private reading. So if it doesn't resonate with you, just go ahead and check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate a little bit better. And please don't try to push yourself into a reading that is not for you. Just take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. All right, so let's get started. Spirit, can you give me the energy of Cancer? What would you like them to be aware of for the month of September? Cancer. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Hermit in reverse as your core issue. And crossing that, directly crossing it, is the Queen of Wands in the reverse. All right, so you might be dealing with Fire Sign. That would be Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. But you don't have to be. Um, what I'm seeing here is that you may have pulled back in a situation. I definitely see that you kind of receded back, went within to get answers. And, you know, those answers are coming from within you. And I, I feel like you did. You've got those answers. You have had some um, idea of solution to whatever the situation is. And I don't feel like you're really thinking about taking action on this situation. I think you're holding your holding your energies back. So let's go ahead. Oh wow! Um, I just heard someone lost their job. That came out of left field. Okay, so you'll know who that is. Um, this is a general read, so it, on the monthly readings, it's not t pertaining just to love. So whatever comes out comes out. But yeah, that that's okay. You'll you'll know who you are. Let's see what happened in the past that directly affects this. The Strength card. Leo energy. Leo energy is very strong here, in fact. Um, but I can see that you, you've had to be very strong in the past to overcome some challenges here. Let's see why all this is happening. Why is all this happening? Ace of Wands reversed. Yeah, so, so there was an ending. There's an ending or there was an ending. Like I said, it could be job related. It could be about um, love. But there's an ending here. And with that ending, I think you've had to be very strong in order to, to deal with this. Um, you've, you've kind of pulled away. You kind of I feel like a lot of you have kind of pulled away from everyone, in fact. And... You know, you're going within to get your answers. You're not really seeking those answers from outside of yourself. Um, I don't see you taking action in this. Let's see um, what's on your mind. Three of Swords. Yeah, so it's painful. This is a painful experience for you. Whatever's happened here has been very painful. You're really having to dig deep to deal with this. Um, let's see what's coming in September that you don't see coming. Six of Cups reversed. So you're letting something go. It's either a situation from the past or it could be a person from the past. But you're in September, you're going to be letting something go. Something or someone. Let's see how you're showing up, Cancer. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Page of Wands. Yeah, there's something here that uh, you're realizing is not working. There may have been a loss here. Um, for some, it was a financial loss. For some, it it will affect your financial stability. Um, and the other thing is, is that you've been very loyal with this situation. Whatever it is, you've been very loyal. There was a lack of protection for you in this situation. With the Page of Wands, I feel like you're, whatever this is, you're not, you're not discussing it. You're not talking to someone or you're not discussing this situation. But someone failed to protect you. For some of you, it was with work. There's been a loss, like I said, of a job, loss of finances here. Um, for others, it's a loss of stability. Something here is just not working. Let's see the energy coming towards you. I can see it's painful, though.
coming towards Cancer, please. King of Swords reversed. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Um, that Somebody's pissed. Strong Gemini energy. So the energy coming towards you is somebody that's being very cold. They're being very um, strategic in the way that they're handling things. They're not making any decisions with their heart. It's all about, you know, process is what I heard. Process. They're being very cold, very calculating in the way they're coming across. And there, there's an anger. There's an underlying anger here in the energy coming towards you, Cancer. Let's see. Um, I don't like the energy at all. Because I'm seeing a failure to protect you. I'm seeing, you know, losses involved in that. I'm seeing an ending. And I'm seeing somebody being very difficult and cold. Whereas you have been very emotionally hurt. And you're struggling to, to get through this. So let me see um, what Spirit's advice is. Two of Swords. There's a decision that needs to be made here. Spirit's saying you got to make a decision. A decision that you're very close to making. And Spirit is also saying you will be guided in this decision. You'll be shown the light is what I heard. You'll be shown the light. Um, let's see the outcome at the end of the month. I want to see what almost popped out but didn't. The High Priestess. Yep. High Priestess. Um, let me see if I can get it where you can see it. Yep. High Priestess almost popped out but it didn't. Which tells me that there's you're using your intuition. You guys are so um, so adept psychically, especially the group of cancers that um, listen on my channel. Show me the outcome at the end of the month. Show me the outcome at the end of the month. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm supposed to take them all. It's a bunch of cards. Okay, but we're doing it. We're doing the thing. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's the loss. A betrayal, a loss. For some, it, it was with a person that you thought would be the ideal mate, but they've been disloyal. King of Wands. And the Three of Cups reversed. Oh, so you might have somebody new coming in. Because you have a King of Pentacles and you have a King of Wands. The King of Pentacles is exiting the picture. But the King of Wands is coming in. Um, if we're looking at uh, the signs, you it would be Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus headed out. But keep in mind, guys, don't get too hung up on the signs because we all have these signs in our chart. Um, but look, coming in, we have King of Wands, which would be Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. I don't really see it as those signs, to be honest with you. What I'm seeing here is you have somebody that you thought was the ideal mate, but there's going to be a loss with that person because, and you're going to release them. Because of betrayal, of past betrayal. But you have someone new coming in that you're going to be very attracted to. You're going to be very, very attracted to this person. However, there is some unhappiness about this. So I'm not sure what that is. We'll clarify that for sure. But you're going to feel attracted to this person. Now, this person might be somebody in a leadership position. This will be somebody that... Um, I feel like this person will be um, very attractive to others. People tend to gravitate towards this person. And you're going to find them to be attractive as well. There's a spark there. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, five of pentacles in the reverse. That's underlying energy. And that is the energy of somebody coming back around. So I'm wondering here if this is somebody you already know who's coming back into the picture. Somebody's trying to come back into the picture. Somebody wants a reconciliation. Um, let's let's clarify. Cancer, you guys never disappoint. It's always like a 
it's always a drama um, show with you guys. It's like, um, I, I couldn't watch television that would be better than your readings. Let's see. Um, why is the hermit here in reverse? Why is the hermit? Okay. Four of cups and strength. Okay, well, that makes sense. So you pulled back from this person for a time. Um, it, it was hard to do it because this person did not did not treat you with the respect you deserve. This this was a missed opportunity. And that's where you've had to really kind of, you know, go within and, and tame your own um, feelings with regard to this. It was painful. But this has been an, a missed opportunity. You may be communicating with this person because the, the hermit in reverse does indicate some communication after a period of not communicating. Um, let's see, why is the Queen of Wands here in reverse? Oh, you may decide that you're not gonna, this person isn't a good fit for you. The, the new person or the person that you have a choice with. You may decide you're not happy with that person, that they're not a good fit for you. Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse? We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the Ten of Coins. Yeah, you're up in the head about in your head about this ending. You're definitely in your head about this ending. And I I feel like um, you you feel you feel a little bit trapped, like you can't make a move here as well for some of you. Why is the strength card? Two of cups and the star. Yeah, because you really love this person. You this person was your your hope. You, you were very attached to this person. You tried to heal the connection. You tried to bring it back together. You feel like this person is a soulmate. And so you've had, and they didn't treat you right. And so I think you pulled away, but I think that this it's a missed opportunity. You've had to be very strong to, to work through this. You are still up in your head about this ending, though. Um, why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? Has the Ace of Wands in reverse. This is why all this is happening. Is because of this ending. Although I will say, sometimes the Ace of Wands in reverse is a new beginning that's trying to come in. So we have the Lovers, and we. <laughs> oh my God! Look, Cancer. I love this. It's yeah. I'm glad I. I'm glad I pointed that out because you have a choice between two. We have the lovers. So all of this is happening because you're going to have a choice in September between two. We have the lovers and we have the seven of cups together. That's options. You have options. You might be a bit confused though. Because I think you're still so focused on this loss that you're not, you're not seeing this person that you have the choice with. You're not seeing them as, as happiness, as, as being a, a good time. Um... I don't even know why I said that. A good time. You don't see them as a good time. Um, but it's a big decision here. There's a new beginning that's trying to come in for you, Cancer. And I think you're confused about it because you're still somewhat focused on this loss. But you have choices. And that's why all this is happening. Spirit is basically saying, look, you got screwed over here. You really kind of did everything you could to get through this. And now I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you options. Um, but you're focused on the pain. You're focused on the loss. Let's see. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? The world and the Queen of Wands. Okay. Queen of Wands is the perfect mate to your King of Wands over here. I'm just going to go ahead and point that out. And you're not going to realize this because you're so deep into the pain. But when you end that cycle of pain... You can have this new beginning, and this person is actually well-suited to you. You just don't think they are. You don't think you're well-suited. Um, but I, you got a decision coming up. Spirit says you have a decision. All right, so let's look at what's going to happen in September that you don't see coming. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. So let's figure this out.
Okay. We have the Eight of Cups reversed, Four of Cups reversed, Page of Swords, High Priestess. She tried to come out earlier, remember? And we have the Five of Pentacles reversed. Now, that's your underlying energy, okay? So, what you don't see coming is that there is something you're going to find out. So, this person that is coming back into the picture, you're going to find something out about this person. You're going to use your intuition. You might even go looking um, because you're curious about it. This is the person you've been holding on to, the person or situation you've been holding on to. You haven't been able to walk away from. They are from your past. You've, you've not been able to walk away from this person or situation, at least not emotionally. You may have physically, but you're going to release that person. You are going to release that person because of something that you're going to find out. And your intuition is going to tell you that it's, it's the right thing to do. There is, you might find out a secret. You might find out something that they haven't told you. But you're going to release this person. Now, this person is trying to come back into your, your life. You'll be releasing them. And you don't see it coming. So, don't blow up my comments because you don't see it coming. So, there. Um, it's going to happen throughout the month. All of this is going to unfold throughout the month. Unless you make different decisions. Of course, it's just the energy that's there now. But I see you finding something out, finding out something that has been hidden from you, secretive, something that was secretive by this person, and it's going to cause you to finally release this person. Let's look at your energy. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords reversed. We have the Six of Coins, and we have the Hierophant reversed. Okay, so like I said, there was somebody here that failed to protect you. They were not, um, they were not protecting you, and therefore it, it caused a loss. I, I feel like you've kept your mouth shut a lot in order to not have an argument with this person. This person may be somebody who was given their attention to more than one person. There was not an equal give and take in this connection. And that's what you're desiring. That's what you were hoping for. They did not provide that. And I feel like you have been, you've kept your mouth shut a lot here, um, Cancer. And you haven't been able to speak your truth. And it's because you are trying not to anger this person or to have a fight. But ultimately, ultimately, this person was non-committal. They did not commit. And they breadcrumbed. So I think that you you have struggled with this for a while. Um, let's look at their energy. King of Swords reversed. They're coming across pretty cold. Kind of makes me feel protective of you guys because I, I love my cancers. They're going to come across cold after they've been acting up. King of Cups, the Devil in Reverse, and the Seven of Wands reversed. Yeah, they do actually love you. There is emotion here. Um, so energy that I see, we have, um, we have Taurus is out. I told you we had Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be another water sign, such as yourself, um, a Pisces, a Scorpio, or another Cancer. But there is love here. This person does have love. They're coming across very cold. Um, and it's because they're, they're trying to let go of something that's very toxic. They didn't fight for this connection. I'm seeing it again. I think I saw that for you guys before. A failure to fight for this um, connection. Oh, we have the two. Yeah, and some of them were juggling. Some of them were juggling um, more than one situation. But they didn't, they spent their time juggling or weighing up the pros and cons and not fighting for the connection. So they're, they're trying to release a something that's very toxic. And 
they do keep an eye on you. I, I see that they're keeping an eye on you. Yeah. They didn't fight for the connection. And they're really actually coming across very cold right now. Um, why is the Two of Swords here? So in Spirit's advice, you're being guided to make a decision. You are going to be, um, whether you realize it, because I don't think you do, you are being guided by Spirit in this. And I heard it again. You'll be shown the light. I don't know what that means. It'll mean something for somebody. You'll be shown the light. All right. Yeah. Ace of Swords. That's clarity. There's your light. We have the three of um, three of coins in the reverse. We have the three of swords in the reverse. Now, in your thoughts, it's in the upright. And then we have the four of wands. Oh, boy. Okay. So, Spirit say make a decision. You're going to be shown the light. You're going to get clarity on this ending. And once you heal, you have the opportunity for a relationship that could lead to marriage. This is going to be a long-term relationship. You have a choice between two people, Cancer. And you're going to be shown the light. You're going to, you're going to get clarity here. It may come through conversation, but you're going to see that this contract, this um, there's no stable foundation here. For some of you, there has been third-party energy. You're, you're being guided to drop any third-party energy. You will be healing from this once you make this decision, and this could lead to a long-term connection. Now, let's look at your outcome. No? Okay. All right. Three of Cups reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. And the Queen of Pentacles. You are very focused on this other person. You're very focused on this other person. You, you feel like the person that you are releasing from your past is your partner, your perfect partner. But I'm not so sure that they are. Um, that person, like I said, they betrayed you. There has been a loss here, and it's made you very unhappy. This person was not giving you what you wanted. You saw them as wish fulfillment, but they were not they were not being wish fulfillment. They betrayed you. The person that is presenting themselves to you, they are attractive. There is a spark, but in your mind, you're so focused on the past that you're not seeing them. And so you're you're turning your back on on some of the happiness that you could have here, Cancer, you're unhappy with that option. You're unhappy, and, and it is an option. You have options. You're unhappy with that person, but I see that this could be a long-term a long term connection, possibly leading to marriage for you. So, very interesting, interesting read. Um, I do see you focusing a lot on your money during the month. Very, very much so, and also focused upon um, self-care. There is an underlying unhappiness here, but this, and this person that you are being presented with, you don't see them as your, your mate, but Spirit is saying they, they are, they could be. Bottom of the deck, magician. So, you're manifesting, and you're, you're manifesting a reconnect with this other person, though. So, I don't know, Cancer. I, I I don't know. It's your choice. Excuse me. What is it they say that when you sneeze, that means somebody's coming to visit you? So, maybe someone's coming to visit you, Cancer. All right. Let's go ahead and get a um, some guidance from the angels. Spirit, I am pulling for Cancer. Pulling for Cancer. Guidance for Cancer. for cancer. All right, 
there it is. Let's see what we've got. Assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness. Now remember, you've not been speaking your truth about a lot of things. All right, so there's um, also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. You're being guided to speak your truth to this person. There's somebody that you have not been saying everything you needed to say. You've been very quiet for a long time because you've been trying to avoid an argument. Speak your truth. Assert yourself. All right. I hope this has been helpful, Cancer. I love you guys. Um, always, a, always an interesting read with you. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Like and share the video and um, drop me a comment. I read all your comments. Until I see you in the weeklies, namaste.